CPR. I don't know. No tongue, Doc. No! Oh. Shut up! It's a false alarm. It's just gas. Today we're going to be finding the relative atomic mass or RAM of an unknown metal through gas collection. But this will allow us to identify that metal. Following this experiment, you should be able to collect the gas from reaction, measure the volume of gas produced, calculate the RAM, and finally identify the metal in question. As with all chemistry reactions, guys, we're going to use our safety goggles to protect our eyes. Also, you want to ensure there's no naked flames near you when you're conducting this experiment, as we're not entirely sure, but there's a possibility that the unknown metal may be flammable, and we definitely know that the hydrogen gas that's going to be produced is flammable. 25ml measuring cylinder, a conical flask, a delivery funnel and delivery tube, a weighing boat, speaker and spatula, a 250ml measuring cylinder. Okay guys, we're ready to begin the experiment. Now, as you can see, we've set up our apparatus. The first things first, what you want to do is you're going to take your pre-measured unknown metal you want between 0.15 and 0.2 grams. And you're going to pour that gently into your conical flask. Doesn't seem like a lot. Okay, so now you've got your metal inside your conical flask. You're going to attach your delivery funnel. Make sure the bung is in, making a tight seal. Make sure your funnel is closed. To the funnel, you're going to add your 25 milliliters of one molar hydrochloric acid. Get that out of the way. Okay, now you're ready to begin. Remember when you're setting up the experiment, guys, that the measuring cylinder has to be completely filled with water, inverted, placed underneath the water that is already in your bowl, and set up as such. You don't want to have any gas inside the measuring cylinder because that will mislead your readings. So when you're ready, place your delivery tube underneath, like that. Open your funnel, and allow the reaction to begin. So now that all the acid is gone, you want to close your delivery funnel and just allow the reaction to run until all the metal has been dissolved by the acid. If you actually touch the side of the conical flask, you'll feel the flask is quite hot, indicating that we've got an exothermic reaction, or heat has been given off. Just making sure all the metal is reacted with the acid, guys, before you stop the reaction. If you want, carefully hold the delivery tube, shake the conical flask gently, just to make sure all the metal and the acid are reacting together. Alright guys, so when gas production is finished, and you can see that all your metal is reacted with the acid, simply remove the delivery tube from your measuring cylinder, record the volume of gas that's been produced, and now we can go on to our calculations to see if we can identify the unknown metal. So now that we have a, a volume of hydrogen gas that we've produced, we can use the equations moles equals mass over RMM and the ideal gas law PV equals NRT to calculate an RAM of the unknown metal and possibly identify this metal. As you should know, the ideal gas law contains the values P for pressure, V for volume, N for the number of moles, R is a gas constant and T is the temperature in Kelvin. Using the equation for the experiment, we should know that a metal reacted with an acid will produce a metal salt and hydrogen gas. So using these equations and the gas that we've produced, we can calculate the amount of moles of hydrogen. We can then use this and the experimental equation to calculate the, the amount of moles of unknown metal. We can then calculate the RAM of this unknown metal and possibly that will lead us to identifying what the metal is. So using the RAM that we've calculated from our equations, and also using the experimental equation, metal plus acid equals metal salt plus hydrogen. Also observing the reactivity of the metal with the hydrochloric acid, we should be able to identify that the unknown metal. That the unknown metal is magnesium. Well that was finding the relative atomic mass of an unknown metal through gas collection. I've been Simon. I'll see you again soon. Fire.